Yo, what it do YouTube? It's the boy Burst Boy back with another video. I know I'm late. I know I'm late, my nigga, okay? Tekka ain't usually one of the people I be searching for when I check for new music on Fridays at 12 a.m. Usually I just check for Chris Brown, Kid Leroy, Drake, Kyle, and Polo G. Forgot I, I, I forgot about Tekka. I forgot about Tekka. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. But Better late than never, right? Maybe, probably not. Probably not. Uh, but today we're gonna react to Virgo World by Lil Tecca. Out is this his first like album album? I wanna say it's his first. Well, I mean he had Okay, it's his second after we love you, Tekka. Okay. But yeah, I seen who was on it, bro. Polo G, that's my nigga, Lil Dirk, DJ Scheme, Skrillex, Lil Uzi, Guwap Rain, and Internet Money, Out of Love. So, we already heard Out of Love, and I think that's the only one. I'm surprised there's none with, with Kid Leroy, bro. Come on now, what's up with that? What's up? I thought y'all was like, cool, bro. Internet that money, bitch. You know what I'm saying? No, no, Leroy. All right. Well, y'all already know how this goes. If you don't, then subscribe. Cause you knew. Cause you knew. Then subscribe, real quick for me. Hit that bump, bump. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, when I do my album reviews, I go off camera, listen to the album. I'm not trying to deal with that copyright shit. Even though I'm not getting paid, it's just nice to get, you know not see the copyright claim on the video so even though i'm not making shit like why are you claiming my video if i'm not making shit come on bro but then i come back and then i review each and every song tell you what i thought about it what i was thinking during the listening whatever blah 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 then i rate the album out of 10 whatever and give my final thought so i will see y'all in about how, how long is this 45 minutes. I'll see you in about 40. You'll see me in about two. Goodbye. And we're back. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Huh, let me turn off this uh, PlayStation. Make sure, you know. It's getting, not, it's, it's just no glare in my glasses. Well, it still is, but you know what I'm saying? First song. Our Time. No, no, no. Before, before I even get into those, bro. It's going to be different than the Chris Brown ones, bro. Chris Brown, Kyle, Leroy, I guess. Because I, I don't know that much about Tekka. I don't. So I don't know in the underlying tones. You feel me? I'm just going strictly based off what I heard. You feel me? Um, But what I did notice throughout the whole damn album was that this nigga liked them salsa beats. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, our time. I didn't even write too much for all these. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't write too much. Um, Our time, he said, Are you really that man that you see in the mirror? If you, did, if you didn't know, that's a Michael Jackson reference. Man in the mirror. I'm talking to the man in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Um... Ooh, I remember why I liked this song. Because it was like, it was catchy as fuck, bro. When he was like, really fucked up, really fucked up, or some shit like that. That shit was hard. So, our time. Two, acting up. Now, when, um. This is him, right? Yeah. So, he, he kind of gave me that Slime and B, Young Thug kind of vibe you feel me and again he had that wavy ass i was to be in this like something you could dance to something you could hey hey uh, hey you know what i'm saying so it was cool they were they were all they were all good songs this nigga did not miss on one song i just didn't like you gotta listen to a song more than one time to really fully understand the expertise 
Now number three, number three, this one, this is this this is the one that caught my eye when I first saw the album. This is the first song that I looked at because it said Polo G. I I've been anticipating this collab, bro. When you have artists that you like, bro, and some of them do collabs with others, and there's some that haven't done a collab yet, you like, damn, they're gonna do a collab eventually. Cause Lil Tecca and Leroy had a collab, and Leroy and Polo G had a little song song with Juice World, so it's only right that Polo G and Tecca get a little song together. You feel me? And they on internet money, bro. Come on, come on. Um, what else did I say? Oh yeah, little Dirk could have did without little Dirk, to be honest with you. I mean, he wasn't bad. He just wasn't. He just didn't like add to it, bro. I'd rather have half Tekka and half Polo G. To be honest with you. Um, in Polo. He never has a verse that isn't heat. No matter the tempo, whatever the song is. It's just heat. Tell me I'm wrong. Exactly. Number four, Back It Up. When I heard this song, bro, like, I don't even remember how it went. But I was like, this nigga made a twerk song? This nigga's what, 17, 18? He not that much younger than me but still I'm talking about my nigga and then a lot of this for most of the songs like going on like they were fire like I I added them to a playlist all the songs but it's like nothing really stood out in them like no really unique bars or anything just you know Number five, chemistry. And this is like where I knew that most of these songs are going to have some type of salsa, Dominican, Latino type of beat. No, it's like this nigga like him some some Spanish girls, don't you? Some Dominican mommies. No, Danny Lay. Danny Lay, I love you. <clears throat> he might as well get Danny Lay in the music video. Or Shakira. I can see Shakira, you know. Uh, uh, he got the he got the type of music making want to move your hits, move your hits. You feel me? Why do I say you feel me all the time? I don't know. It's just a filler. Oh, and then he got one line in there, bro. I'm that I'm the nigga that her nigga wanna be. You, your nigga, wants to be me, bitch. Number six, Royal Rumble. When this song started, bro, this shit came in hard as fuck. Why did why the beat have to be so hard, bro? Golly. And then you're talking about punching nigga in his lip. Now he look like Kylie. Why you gotta come at Kylie like that? You saw her in the WAP video? You just trying to draw some attention to yourself? I see you. I know, I know, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You say you're trying to get her in, in your music video for sure. Then this nigga even said, bro, if you my shawty, I think it's like, even if you my shawty, please don't get comfortable. Who hurt you, bro? What's up? Y'all new niggas is like... Y'all like, dated like 20 bitches already. Golly. Um, number seven. Foreign featuring Nob. Now you and... Tekka and Nob sound nice as fuck together. I'm not gonna lie to you. They sound nice as fuck. Um, and I was like, damn, I was, I was like, we seven songs in and none of these shits missed. None of these shits missed, you know? And, the, um, 
I didn't, I couldn't say much about it because the song was so good that it should just slid past me. I was like I was listening to it like I have already listened to it before. Like it was already on my playlist and shit. Like, cause when I do the vi I, when I'm listening to the songs, I'm typing my notes and I'm working on the thumbnail. So I was working on the thumbnail. The song is in the background. You know, next thing I know, the shit was over. Um, number eight, selection featuring Skrillex and DJ Skeen. Who is Skrillex, bro? What is Skrillex? Is that? Did Skrillex and DJ Scheme make the beat? All I, all I took away from that was Go best friend, that's my best friend Go best friend, that's my best friend I'm pretty sure he's talking about how he wants His girl to be his best friend If y'all niggas don't understand that Then you don't need to be in a relationship, bro You and your girl should know each other so well that y'all might as well be best friends. Like if y'all weren't dating. If y'all never dated. Y'all would be best friends. Um, And I was like yeah this one going on the buy playlist for sure though. Um, Oh Berlizzi video. Some more Minecraft. I went to go follow this nigga Tekka on, on Twitter. And, of course, the first tweet that I saw was, FNG, I fuck with y'all. And then I was like, is this is this the real Lil Tech? I mean, he had to check. But I was like, nobody else was following him that I followed. Not even Polo G, Leroy, Dante. Only nigga that was following him was Burleazy. That was the only other nigga following him, bro. That I follow. I mean, he was verified, though. Um, take 10. This is where I was thinking, bro. This dude gotta be, like, Dominican. Is he Haitian? He he could be Haitian. He look a little Haitian. I ain't gonna lie to you. He could be a little Haitian. I mean, Haiti is next to the Dominican Republic, but, like, Haitians are more, like, French, though, I'm pretty sure. He looks like he could be from France, though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he, like, dipped his toe over in the Dominican Republic. And was like, damn, need me some chips and salsa in my life. So, huh? Next song, Dolly featuring Lil Uzi. Now, Uzi doesn't miss when it comes to features. He does not miss. Uzi and Tekka sound fantastic, flabbergasmic tastic on a track together. Um, and he said, he said, walk in the scene, took your bitch? Probably. That means this nigga walked into the scene. Hella females was around him. You saying, did this nigga just take my bitch? He probably looked around, looked at the bitches. Doesn't know which one is yours and says. Probably. Okay. Uh, number 11, insecurities. Nah, then at, at this point I was thinking. What has this nigga gone through in his life to be making music like he's fucking 29? He be making music like he's in, he's experienced most of his life already. A good portion of his life already. Nigga, we at the same stage. What are you doing that I'm not making millions of dollars, probably? But still, bro. Talking about this shit like even before he had the money. Come on now. Um, Number 12, TikTok. Now, for this one, I was just hoping that this was not made to be a TikTok song. I'm pretty sure TikTok is getting taken down, but they missed two, three months now. Um, background just vibing. You feel me? Um, number 13, Miss Me. 
Nigga said, you been part time, still don't know what you mean to me. That means he got, he don't have no full time girl. He got part time biddies. And she still don't know what she mean. She still don't know what she mean to him. Um, number 14, True to the Game featuring Guapo Rain. Now, I didn't, all I remember for this song was how that work. I think, oh, let me see. Oh, he was talking about how before he was like famous and shit, niggas was like trying to flex on him and stuff. And said something. I think now he bigger than them, so he was like, damn, how'd that work, shawty? Tell me how that work, girl. You know? Uh, number 16, level up. Again, another one of those songs where it just slid right past me. You know? I'm just in the background. Stupid. Um... Closest to heaven. <laughs> I literally wrote down. Again, nothing really stood out, but it's just a song you could listen to without even knowing. Like, this is one of those songs that you could, like, hear in the background and be like, Was that? What song, what song am I on? Oh damn, I skipped closest to heaven, my fault. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, exactly. Like, you wouldn't know. Like, it was just go right past you, you feel me? Number 17, no answer. This nigga said, he said, I was 16, she was 20. And then he said, something after that, I think she like caught feelings or some shit. Nigga, four years. Four year difference. She's 20. You're 16. You're telling me she caught feelings? For a nigga that probably didn't have a job? Is this nigga famous yet at 16? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Last call. Nigga said. Nigga said. Nigga said. Number 18. Last call. Nigga said. I can't kick it with you. I ain't messy. <laughs> that line probably went past so many people, bro. If you're not an advocate, soccer, aficionado, like myself. I never watched soccer like that. Um, I just know who Messi is. Who doesn't? And he said, I don't want no sob stories. Keep that to you. Unless you give in head. Then you exceptional. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but that just sounded like some hard ass. I don't give a fuck type of shit. Keep them sob stories to yourself unless you're giving head. Sob, slob, slobbing on the, slobbing on my knob, sobbing on my knob. Okay. And number nineteen. Out of Love, which is a certified banger. Let me see if I know, if I remember how this goes, because I didn't listen to it. Nope. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of the wrong, I'm thinking of uh, somebody. Ah, it's my love, it's your love, it's our love. And we don't really care because everybody want the same thing. New kind of new thing and the same thing. Whoa. Get off me, bro. Um, That's Lil Tecca. Virgo World. Um, What would I give it out of 10? An 8. An 8. Now, with the album cover... Wasn't really too much going on in the album cover. I don't know what the fuck. I guess this is Virgo World. 8.5. 8.5. Like, all the songs was cool, though. 
All the songs was cool. Tekka, Tekka and Leroy are gonna be those niggas. They gonna be them niggas, bro. Hopefully they don't never have beef. But at some point they gonna be them top tier. Them two top tier ones. You know? Do they what you say? What I say they make the same kind of music? Nah. Leroy's is more edgy. I guess. So yeah, they gonna end racism. Maybe, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 200 subs by 2020. We at one, 174 or 175? 174. I was at 172 yesterday when I went to sleep. So, make sure you subscribe. Tell some other niggas to subscribe. And go sub to the gaming channel because we trying to hit it over there too. My goal for this channel is to never let the gaming channel pass this channel and subs. But my goal for the gaming channel is to pass this channel and subs. So, it's kind of a a limbo kind of thing. You feel me? But, um, said I'm out. Peace. Yeah. Thank you.